edition on controlling cow herd cost. I'm Erica Lundy, Extension Beef Specialist for the Iowa Beef Center at Iowa State University. Today's discussion will focus on the benefits of early weaning, not only to the cow and to the calf, but also to pastures. In areas of limited forage availability, early weaning is an effective management strategy to help preserve forage quality and increase cow herd efficiency. Lactation increases cow energy and protein requirements by approximately 25 to 50 percent depending on the stage within that lactation cycle. Therefore, the biggest advantage to early weaning is a reduced quantity and quality of forage needed to support the cow herd. When we think of utilizing early weaning as an effective last resort strategy to encourage thin or late calving cows to cycle and get bred earlier in the breeding season, calves need to be weaned by about 90 days of age. Early weaning at this stage in the year when those calves are in that 120 to 150 days of age window, it's also a viable option to save on forage resources. From the calf perspective, successful early weaning requires more labor, excellent management skills, and a solid nutrition program. A well-planned health program is also important, starting with vaccination to that calf while still on the cow, so that calf immunity has been established by the time of weaning. Offering a creep feed, or even allowing adequate bunk space for calves to eat alongside dams as supplementing on pasture, for a few weeks prior to weaning will help those calves adjust to eating processed feeds, get those calves bunk broke, and make the weaning transition less stressful. The use of low stress weaning methods such as day weaning or fence line weaning can also help to reduce the stress associated with weaning. Calves should be placed in a small pasture pen to reduce walking up the perimeter fences and encourage those calves to find the feed bunk and water resources quickly. Facilities may need to be altered to handle those younger, smaller calves, including adjusting the bunk and water heights. The longer a calf goes without eating after being separated from the dam, the greater the risk for morbidity or even mortality. So it's critical that those calves find the feed and water within the first few hours of being weaned. Shade should also be available for early weaned calves as heat stress is still an issue this time of the year. Marketing early weaned calves at the time of weaning can be a major drawback for cow-calf producers as lightweight calves mean fewer dollars. Therefore, depending on available feed resources, economics may dictate that early weaned calves should be retained for a period of time after weaning to help increase the revenue of that calf crop. One benefit, however, is that early weaned calves are much more efficient at converting feed into pounds than older calves weaned at normal age. In a retained ownership scenario, early weaned calves reach slaughter weight at a younger age and therefore have the potential to be marketed before the seasonal market for fed cattle declines. Additionally, calves placed on a higher plane of nutrition earlier in life tend to grade better as well. Early weaning may not be the solution for every producer every year. However, in years where forage resources are limited, early weaning is definitely beneficial. Additionally, early weaning may be a key factor in allowing first and second calf heifers to regain weight and rebreed earlier for next year's calf crop. For additional information on early weaning, including nutrition and health management, contact your local Extension Beef Specialist or visit iowabeefcenter.org. Thank you.